All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up SMS marketing on your Shopify store. And we're going to be using an app called TextCart, which you can find by searching it in the app store or clicking the first link in the description. So the cool thing about TextCart is it actually uses AI to make your conversations a little bit more realistic. So instead of sending like some generic marketing message to try and recover abandoned carts via text it's actually going to be using a conversational ai to chat with the customers so it's going to be like a two-way conversation so using something like this is going to give you an increased abandoned cart recovery rate versus using like a standard generic sms abandoned cart because this is going to be a lot more personalized and seem a lot more authentic so we're going to be taking a look at some of those demo examples as well once we get into it. So with that said, the first thing we need to do is actually install the app. So once you install the app, we're going to be brought to the welcome sequence here. So we just have to click on get started and then you're going to be able to select a plan. Now, later on in this video, I'm going to show you what the pro plan actually looks like. But during this sign up process here, I'm just going to go with the starter plan. And once we go ahead and select our plan here, we need to confirm some of our store information, which what this is going to do is it's going to help us to automatically set up an abandoned cart sequence. So we don't have to spend a bunch of time on it. So we just would have to confirm our shipping information here. So this is just a testing store here. So I'm just going to keep all of this information here as default, but you would want to go ahead and make sure that you match up all of your store information here and you can choose whether or not you accept PayPal. And in this case on my test store, I don't have PayPal enabled. And then we have the discount code for abandoned carts. So you can click change here to change the discount code and it will generate a discount code right here. And then we can choose the discount value. So what this is going to be doing is this is going to be the discount code that is going to be used to incentivize the abandoned cart customers to come back and complete their purchase. So we can choose which size of a discount we want to give. By default, it's at 25%. So this is going to be up to your personal preference. I'll keep it at the default value and then we'll click on next step. So the next thing we need to do is update some compliance settings really quickly, which is going to be pretty simple. So we need to update our terms of service, privacy policy and checkout. So if we open this up right here, we can see that these terms have been copied to the clipboard here. So we just need to head over to our terms of service page and paste this in there. So I would head over to pages and open up this terms of service page here and I'll just scroll to the bottom and add this in there and click save. And if you don't already have like a terms and privacy policy, this is something you should definitely already have set up. But if you don't, you can come over to settings and go down to policies. You can generate a policy template right here that you can use. So we're going to go ahead and do the privacy policy next. So this is going to be copied and we're going to go to the privacy page and add this in. And we would have to actually in, insert our company name, address, and email address here, which for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do, but you would want to insert that in right there and then click on save. And then, so the last thing we have to do is update our checkout here so we can open up the steps and then we can open up our actual checkout settings right here inside of our store by clicking this button here. So we can see the first thing we're going to have to do is change the customer contact to email. So that's right here, customer contact method. We need to change that to email right here. And then the next thing we need to do is change the shipping address phone number to optional. So we have a shipping address phone number here. We're going to make that optional. And then we need to enable the checkbox for SMS on their marketing options. So we're going to enable this checkbox right here. And we can see to collect consent, we need to set up terms of service and privacy, which we already did in the previous steps. And then once we've done that, we can click on save here. And then we need to come down here to manage checkout language. Once this loads up, we're going to filter this out by phone. And we can see here that we're going to copy this text. So phone gets support offers and updates via text. So this is going to be the phone label and the optional phone label right here. So we have our phone label right here and then the optional phone label right here. 
Then we're going to save these changes and we're going to search for marketing. And we're going to copy this text here, which is text me exclusive promotions and offers and put that under the accept SMS checkbox label, which is right here. And we're going to click save. And after that, we are good to go. So we can go ahead and click this checkbox and finish. So just like that, we've set up our SMS marketing for our store here, and we already are going to have abandoned cart text message campaigns automatically being sent out just like that. Now to quickly show you what the checkout's actually going to look like after you've set this stuff up, we can see here, we have our normal contact and shipping address information, but instead of just having the email, we now have a separate field for the phone here. And this is the label that we put in here earlier. So you get support offers and updates via text. And we can see in case we need to contact you about your order, and then we can choose whether or not we want to opt in for texting exclusive promotions right here. And we can see here that if I were to put in some dummy information and then I were to check this box, we can see that it would automatically autofill this and then we could continue to ship it. So at this point now your abandoned cart recovery text messages are set up and are going to be running in the background on autopilot. So now I want to show you how you can utilize the rest of the app here. So I switched over to a demo account that has a little bit more data in here. So that way we can see what the app will actually look like once you start using it. So here on the overview page, we're going to see a bunch of different information, such as our average order value, our lifetime orders recovered, and sales recovered right here. So pretty much just a bunch of metrics right here. We have our recovery rate, our reply rate, et cetera. And we have some of our latest conversations. So pretty much just analytics of how our text message recovery campaigns are performing here. The next tab we hear is, cam is campaigns. So this is where we can actually send out custom campaigns to our subscribers. So as we took a look at earlier, there is the option for customers to opt in to our text marketing list on the checkout screen now that we set that up. So this is where we can go ahead and send campaigns to those people that opted in. So if we wanted to create a new campaign, we could come up here to new campaign. And then we can see here we have the option to create our text marketing campaigns. We have a couple fields here on the left and we have our preview here on the right. So I'll just call this test campaign and we can see that we have our target audience right here. So this is going to be the segment of customers we want to receive this text campaign. So by default, we have it set to all of our customers, but then we have some other different audiences right here. So we have new customers with one purchase. A loyal customers, which equals total spend of 250 plus engaged customers, which means they bought in the last 30 days. And then of course we have our abandoned checkout not recovered and our abandoned checkout recovered. We have email opt-in customers and we have disengaged customers, which is no purchase in seven days right here. So these are by default, the custom segments of our subscriber list that are available automatically inside of the text card app but we can also upload a custom CM CSV by contacting the support. So in this case, we'll just send this campaign to all customers right here. And then you can select the persona that you wanna have send this specific campaign here. So in this case, we're gonna just leave this as the default recommendation. And then we can choose whether or not we want to attach an image or GIF. So this is only going to be applicable to US recipients only. So if you want to add an image or GIF inside of here, you can do that. So I'll upload a file just to show you what it would look like for an example. So let's say if I uploaded this picture right here, we can see that the image would show up right here before the text. So if you want to add an image or GIF as part of your campaign, you can do that right here. In this case, I'll just remove it to keep it simple. And then we have the text message itself. So we can customize the text message here and we can see that as we change it, it's going to show up over here. So we have a couple of short codes and then we can actually come in here and edit the text itself. So if you're struggling to come up with the content to actually put inside of the text message, you can use AI tools to help you out with that. So for example, let's say we have a clothing store and we are trying to run a Black Friday promotion. If I were to come over to ChatGPT, for example, and just say, write me an SMS campaign for my clothing and commerce store, having a Black Friday sale and make the text under 500 characters, we can see that it's going to give us a 
text template right here that we could use. So in this case, we could just copy this in. And what I'll do is I'll clear out the existing content here. And then we will paste in this right here and it's giving us a duplicate. So I will get rid of the duplicate right here. And now we can go ahead and customize this with some of the short codes we have down here. So first off, I'll come to the beginning and I'll add the store name in. And then we'll start out with, hey, first name. And then we can customize down here. So we can see it says visit us online now. So we can say visit us online now. And then we could do at store URL and the use discount codes. So we put in a discount code here so we can have a unique unique code per client or saying discount for all clients. So this is going to be personal preference. In this case, I'm going to just keep it as unique. I'm going to change it to a percentage and we'll make it a 35% discount. We can add that in and then we can do for 35% off right here. So that's how we can customize our text message campaign really easily. If we, you know, a lot of times you're going to be setting up promotions around maybe specific holidays or maybe you have a new product launch, etc. So if you are struggling to think of what to use yourself, you can use an AI tool to help you with that. And then you can fill in the blanks here with the short codes. And then once we've set up your text message, all you have to do is click on review and send campaign and you'll be good to go. So since this is a demo store, I'm not actually going to send this campaign, but that's all you'd have to do. And on the rest of the campaigns page, we'll be able to see some different stats about our campaigns. So we'll be able to track our opt-ins here. So how many people are opting in, in this case, each day. We can see how many campaigns we've sent, the total sales and order value, etc. from our campaigns, how many people have opted out, the percentage. And then we can track all of our campaigns down here. So we could take a look at a campaign here and we could view the campaign. So we'd see the conversations here and you could also click on the results of the campaign. So you could see the orders, sales, AOV and opt out rate from this particular campaign. So the next section of the app here is the insights section. This is just going to provide us a little bit more information. So we have our daily sales here, but then we have our most recovered products. So essentially this is going to show us which products are being recovered the most from our automated abandoned cart sequences. And we have our most abandoned products, so which products are converting the at the lowest rate from our abandoned carts sequence here. And then we have the sales by country, sales by gender, etc. And we have our monthly stats and our message breakdown by volume. The next tab here in the app is going to be conversations. So this is where we can actually monitor our conversations right here. So we have our abandoned car conversations and we can see the status of it right here. So we have a waiting response, customer ordered, customer replied, discount offered. If I were to open this up, for example, we can see the message history. So if we open this up, we can see, hey, this is Lindsay. So the persona we saw earlier, I saw you were checking out, great choice. Do you want to see if I can get you a discount? I'm still thinking about it, no problem. You know, if you're interested, and we can see down here we have customer replied. We have ones where we're still awaiting the response. Let's take a look at one where we ordered. So we have the same message right here. Sure, I just got you a discount. Here's the link. Thanks, no problem. So we can see that the abandoned card sequence here is very organic. So depending on the persona, it's going to change the personality here of the text sender. But we can see that using text card is pretty unique because it's sending automated personalized messages like this instead of like a really generic automated message. So you're getting a lot of personalization here, which is going to help with your conversion rates. So coming down here is where we can see all of our orders here. So here we can just see all of our different orders here and we can choose to view them on Shopify. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have the integrations section, which is just going to give us some recommended integrations here. And you can use some of these third party apps that were integrated here with text cards, some of which could let you set up email pop ups that you could use to build your text subscriber list. So this is definitely something worth checking out as well. And then down here we have our settings. So we have our basic account settings. We have our company settings right here. We can choose 
our Texan status so we can pause abandoned cards right here. If for some reason you want to pause your campaign, you can do that here. This is where you can modify your discount value, your shipping information, return policy, etc. And this is where we can also change our persona. So when we were looking at the conversations earlier, we saw the Lindsay persona. We could also change it to any of these other personas right here, which, like I said, is one of the unique things about this app is that the automation sequences are going to be very personalized. So it's going to seem like these people are actually like an employee of your store. So it's going to be a lot more personal than just to say your generic abandoned cart messages that you'll typically get. And we have our messaging settings here. So we can see we'll have our numbers right here. In this case, we have one for US and Canada. Then you can set your quiet hours. So this is just specific hours that our subscribers won't receive messages, which we can see here by default is 9 p.m. to 8 a.m., which makes sense because if you're texting people at like 2 a.m., they're probably not gonna answer. So you wanna be texting them at peak hours. And we have our discounts here where we can create a new code. And then of course we have support and billing information. So overall, that's how we can set up SMS messaging on our Shopify store using the TextCard app. It's definitely a very turnkey app. It's very easy to use. As soon as you complete the onboarding process, you are automatically sending your abandoned cart SMS messages right out of the gate. So that's really easy to set up. And once you go through that initial setup, you're already building your subscriber list, which as you slowly build that up, you can come in here and send campaigns to your subscribers for whether it's new product promotions, sales, holidays, etc. So that's how we can set up SMS marketing on our Shopify store. Be sure to check out TextCart by clicking the first link in the description down below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.